This is the VOA Special English Education Report. Millions of high school students have read To Kill a Mockingbird. The novel by Harper Lee offers moral lessons about racial justice and respect. It tells the story of a young girl named Scout and her father, Atticus Finch, a lawyer. He defends a black man wrongfully accused of raping a white woman. In the end, an all-white jury sentences Tom Robinson to death. The book is set in the American South in the 1930s, but it was published 50 years ago on July 11, 1960. It came out as the civil rights movement in the United States was gaining strength. Laws and customs in the South, however, still kept blacks and whites mostly separated. A mockingbird is a kind of gray songbird. The book gets its title from something Atticus Finch was told in his childhood when his father gave him a gun. Atticus Finch says his father told him it was a sin to kill a mockingbird because they don't hurt anyone, they just make music. Melinda Bird Murphy is head of the Alabama Center for Literary Arts. She says the moral of the story is be kind to one another show human empathy and sympathy. Ms. Bird Murphy has read the book four times. She is a native of Harper Lee's hometown of Monroeville, Alabama. The author, who published only the one novel, is still alive but rarely speaks publicly. Some people say to kill a mockingbird treats racism in a way that is simplistic, even offensive to blacks, and out of date in today's America. Still, it has been translated into more than 40 languages and has sold over 40 million copies. It won a Pulitzer Prize and is often required reading in high school. Gregory Peck won an Academy Award for playing Atticus Finch in the 1962 film version. The story takes place in a town that Harper Lee called Maycomb, but she based the characters on real people she knew growing up. Since then, Monroeville has changed a lot. A number of African Americans serve in the local government. The courthouse, made famous by the book, is now a museum. A small shop and a fast food restaurant called Mel's Dairy Dream have replaced Harper Lee's childhood home. In Monroeville and around the country, fans of To Kill a Mockingbird are celebrating its 50th anniversary. Events include readings, discussions, and movie showings. And that's the VOA Special English Education Report.